Okay, so the question is, what about limbo? So limbo was something that was never officially defined by the church. The, the concept was that if a baby was to die uh, at that young age without being baptized, that the baby would not be able to enter into God's heavenly kingdom because he wasn't baptized, right? But he wouldn't be condemned to hell because he didn't commit any sin. It would be in this state of limbo, right? They would never experience the beatific vision, but they wouldn't experience any desolation and despair of being in hell, that they would be in this limbo place. Pope Benedict XVI did um, several different councils and meetings talking about this whole aspect of it, and that has been pushed aside. That, I know that the nuns used to teach this in the classes and stuff. That's never been an official teaching. I don't know how that crept in. So that's not, never been an official teaching of the church. It's always been speculative theology, um, but under Pope Benedict XVI, they said that limbo is not part of, of anything that the church teaches. So it's hard to tell you that that's been kind of thrown to the side. It makes sense though, if a baby dies, right? There's also baptism of desire, right? And that Jesus would also give them an opportunity for those babies to be with him forever. Think about the millions of babies who are aborted every year, that those babies wouldn't be able to be in God's loving arms. That doesn't make any sense, right? We know that God is all loving, he's all merciful. And so those babies who have lost their lives through that tragic mistake, they are with God. They are with God. And they have forgiven their parents for what they did. And they're praying for them to come to God's mercy and God's repentance so that one day they can be reunited in God's heavenly kingdom, right? So that's, that's the good news for us to always trust in God's heavenly mercy.